Oops, lower. Whatever you're ready. Yeah. Are we on? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> hey. Start up a live show. Well, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> we were on top of it. You saw us moving furniture. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Uh, I'm Jessica Ruth, and I'm here with my co host today. Hey, guys, Devin Edison here. It's finally coming back to the live shows again. So, how are you doing, everybody? We're, uh, we're excited to have you back down here. We're doing these late shows. Devin's been so busy at his bench. Um, during the day that it's been hard to get you down here, so. Oh yes, it's always difficult to try to catch myself in here, but I always end up catching myself doing more jewelry. That's, it's part of the lifestyle. Oh yes, <laughs> that's what you should be doing, more jewelry. More jewelry. <laughs> so uh, welcome, uh, we had an earlier artist show that you may have uh, caught with Jan, um, but this evening we are doing Tea Skies featured jewelry. So what that means is these are all done by artists in-house, and when you purchase one, um, you are supporting the whole group here. So it's, it's kind of a fabulous thing that we bring you. Um, featured artist and the co-ops coming together. So um, really, really cool thing we've got going on here in Albuquerque. Um, so let me just kind of run through it real quick. I'm going to show you a piece. We're going to describe it. If it's something you want, you just leave us a comment below, um, either saying, I want it, um, claimed, sold, sold. there's lots of ways, but uh, you got to let us know instead of just the word interested kind of confuses us sometimes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but if you're interested and you just want more information, just let us know and we'll keep, uh, we'll keep going. But once you've claimed an item, I set it aside. We have a phone number here you can call us or you can just inbox our email and uh, inbox us with your email address. There it is. There it is. <laughs> and we'll send you an invoice out and it's very simple. Um, we charge a $6 shipping fee and it usually takes three to five business days with that priority mail. So very simple. Yep, just as simple as that. And just want to say that to YouTube, thank you for tuning in to watching us. And if you guys are enjoying all of our videos, just hit that like button down below. And if you want to tune in to any more future shows we do, just hit the subscribe button and that hit that bell notification if you want to get notified on any more live shows we do. They so. pop up. We're doing, we're trying, our goal is four a week. We're pretty much hitting that goal. So that's kind of amazing. We've been doing lots of shows. Oh, yes. All right. Ah, well, well, let's just start with that. So Jaren's, Jaren's on. I guess uh, we thought he was traveling, but he might not be traveling yet. It might be tomorrow. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, tell us all about it. Well, you, I can tell you, it's uh, fresh. It's just fresh off the bench. Still hot. Hot off the press. Hot off the press, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I don't tingle myself or choke myself. <laughs> Gotta look good on the camera. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. So, I'm kidding. <laughs> so you made this yesterday and finished yep. it today. Yep, managed to work on it the entire day yesterday and got finally got it finished just today. Oh, let me see if I can put the uh, leather on there. That's still a little stiff because it hasn't been worn yet. Nope. So, uh, what gauge silver did you use on this? Well, that one I used a 20 gauge on it. That's pretty awesome that you're getting so good at the bump outs, which are these. <laughs> yeah, so it's a lot of work on that one, especially that Repose diamonds that you see on there, because those ones I had to do individually. Oh, wow. Yep. So we've got that standard Bolo backing. And there is a hallmark in there. I asked him about it, and it's it's kind of hidden. It's underneath the leather, but it's in there. Yep. Don't worry, it's still noticeable. 
and you've got these nice these are kind of the longer tips with the decorative end so you get you get some some bling at the end you want to put it back on and yep. tell everybody what your price is on that for the price on this one what i'm going to be asking for is 230 dollars on it wow that's a good price we hadn't really talked about it so 230 so if you'd like to purchase the hot off the press never been shown before well yeah not anymore well been shown today only yep. <laughs> um you just let us know devin's bolo it isn't numbered like these other ones um just say devin's bolo yeah and we'll Awesome. All right, nice. <laughs> I was trying to look like I was saying something really important. How's over here just <laughs> That's usually how he responds when I'm when I'm talking. <laughs> He's like, what? Huh? You again? Oh, what, do you say? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. So we've yep. got some really cool um, pieces here. These, like I said, they're all in-house made. So I believe we have not shown any of these. You may have seen similar items. Awesome. Charades. Yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> um, and I think about it, I'm a little too big on the camera right now. <laughs> too big? <laughs> there we go. Much better. Sitting with the short girl. So these uh, first five, six pieces are all going to be the standard post back earrings. I just want to show you that. I think you might move the camera just slightly for me. Perfect. Um, and let me take a look. These are Kingman turquoise. Wow, ah, they're Kingman. They are. And they're nice and dainty, which, you know, I know go big or go home is a, a pretty classic statement here in Southwestern jewelry. But for everyday wear at one and a quarter inch, maybe just a little, about an inch. There about, we go. About an inch. About an inch. These hey, are very Aries. wearable. <laughs> Um, and like every live show, there's a 20% off the uh, list price. So that's kind of a cool thing. You're getting first dibs here on the live show. Yep. These would be $225. Today they are $180. $180 for those earrings? Yeah, it's a good price. Oh, yeah, they are a good price, especially with that nice, good design. Twisted wires around it. This is actually twisted square wire, so it's a little bit different than the rope wire that you see pretty typically. Um, this is made in-house, which is kind of nice. We're, uh, we're starting to make our own designs that go around things. Um, but these are item number one if you'd like to claim them. They're kind of that nice light blue. Very, very in season. Turquoise mm. is always in season. They always are. <laughs> Here is another pair, also Kingman. This is item number two. They are 
similar in size. They're still about an inch. They've got the post backs, um, again with the square twist wire. Um, but again, they're just a little bit different shape. Same, same price was $225, so they are $180. And I think that's honestly going to be the price on all of these earrings now that I'm taking a look. Um, so it's really just about deciding which shape, which shade is calling to you. Hmm. Pretty, pretty fun that way. Yep. Choices, choices. There's always those choices. They're always hard to find. And it's really about uh, finding the things. Maybe you already have some turquoise in your life and you're trying to match um, a ring or a pendant that you have. Um, I imagine it was like trying to find what to do with this turquoise. Yeah. Oh, that one's got some pyrite in it. Yep. What kind of turquoise is it? I believe it was dark blue Kingman. Is it? Okay. Yeah. I was wondering if you did the Tortuga. Ah, the, tor the Tortuga. Well, I gotta get my hands. I gotta get my hands on those again. Did we talk about the price of number two? Um, they're all 180 for these earrings. So ah. they were 225. That's kind of our list price um, to pay our artist well to make these for us. And then we basically take a little discount off for the the live show. So again, um, these are the more petite. You've seen the bigger ones, like I said, in the past. Um, and we all have our preferences. And like I said, I like wearing earrings that are about an inch. Mm. I'm, I talk too much with my hands to have <laughs> big earrings. <laughs> um, so this is Spiny Oyster. We've, um, we really like Spiny Oyster here at the Tea Skies. It's that's, becoming, that's becoming a little more popular around here. It is. It's something we, we use a lot. Um, so these are more red as opposed to the orange or the purple that you've seen before. So I think these would be really great because they got some stripes in them. Yeah, kind, of, um, kind of reminds me of a good fall color. Good fall color kind of reminds me of uh, candy canes. Ah. Yeah. Oh great, now I feel for a candy cane. Uh oh. <laughs> I, I do that. I use a lot of food references on the late shows because yeah, it's so dinner it time. Us hungry. <laughs> oh, we're all sorry to go hungry here. I feel for a candy now. Starving <laughs> artist. I can't help but talk about food. <laughs> <laughs> So again, this is item number three, um, priced at 180 Really nice, deep red. And uh, the spiny oyster as it transitions, the orange is young, red is kind of in the middle, and then it transitions to purple. So it's kind of a mid, mid-life for a, a spiny oyster. But for some reason, we just don't see the red as often. I don't know if maybe the ocean temperature doesn't leave them red as long as mm -hmm. they're transitioning. Don't know. Maybe. Good question. Don't know. Lots of variables to consider. Yeah. So that's item number three. <coughs> Only wish I had that kind of spiny oyster. Some red? Yep, I want some red. Well, we'll have to do a little bit of search and see if we can find some, you some more. Oh, always I the, did skip uh, for it. Oh, yeah. I was about to say that number four. Oh man, now I wish I only had this stone Ooh, as well. What is this? This, this is, cool. is another type of shell, and I wrote it down the other day when it got brought in, and I don't have a little paper with me. Ooh. <laughs> so that makes it a little difficult, but it is another type of uh, seashell, and it's got just that hint of purple. Um, it's a little bit different. You don't see the what I would call like the striations or the um, <laughs> or the uh, shell lines you, you typically see or you think of. So mm -hmm. this one's kind of got um, more of like a milky, bonish color, I guess you, you could call it, and then just that hint of purple. Yeah, very pretty. Man, that one's a nice good shell right there. It really is. I wish I knew the name of it. That's my mistake. I didn't really look through the box before we came down here, because we were just on. So. <laughs> True, yeah, we were just on. Yep. So um, I can find out the name of these. Um, Shep has a name, and like I said, I wrote it down on a post-it note, and it, it's floating around in my box somewhere. So. Mm. Um, so this is item number four. It is 180 down from 225 and they can be yours if you just want to leave me a comment and yes denise 
wampum. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name of it. It was one that was kind of new to me. So um, it is wampum. Uh, wampum. Wampum shell. And wampum. It's a weird, How do you spell that? Uh, Wham oh, wait, no, wampum. 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 Ram, wham, I'm not sure if that's the correct spelling, but Denise, that it, it's definitely the the right shell. Mm, so thank you, Denise, for correcting us, or trying, or just helping us. Helping us, yes. I love it. I love our collective knowledge that we we bring to these shows. So. <laughs> it reminds me of a joke that me and my cousins were talking. We're talking about when we were younger. Okay. Uh, now, now that's now that's stuck into my head. If I see something like that, then I think of that joke that we had. Okay. you got to tell us the joke. You can't just leave it hanging. <laughs> well, like a joke? <laughs> well, it was, but it was kind of based off a video game. Okay. To where, do you remember the old Star Wars game? Oh, like Battlefront 1 on the PS2? Uh, yeah. Battlefront 2 on the Xbox. Oh, on the Xbox? My man. Okay. Yeah, well, there was, a, there was a mission on there where we had to be on the ice region. Okay. And then after that, yeah, I guess you could play the... You are a playable big yeti, I guess. Uh, okay. What was what do they call those? Uh, like the robotic walking dog things. The no. yak yaks? No, the yetis, the big furry monsters. Oh, I don't remember that. Oh. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, I and know then, what you're talking about that. Yeah, but the way that they are they are just kinda of like running, it's kinda of like more like a like a skip lunges. Oh, yes. And then that's when my cousins were just playing around and saying, womp 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 womp. <laughs> There, there it we is. Go. I mean, <laughs> Debbie's are white, right? Yeah. Oh, Denise would like the wampum ring. Uh, or she knows she said she has one. Never mind. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay, I was about to ring that bell. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I fixed it. We'll have to uh, post a picture up, even if um, it isn't a tea skies purchase. We kind of like to know what you have in your jewelry box. Yeah, it helps us with our design. Um, moving forward knowing what our customers love so share a picture denise i'd love to see it that'd be great so mm -hmm. wampum see if we can remember that with with devin's little joke i don't think i'll ever forget it <laughs> <laughs> just, think, just, think, just think of it that way yep well actually it does give a good resemblance to that creature yeah yep. white snow yep pretty much i dig it i see where we're going there Okay, so back to what were we doing? We're selling jewelry. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, I got I a wondering. jumper. I was wondering. I thought we were talking about video games for quite a while. <laughs> I'm actually going to switch these out for a stand so I don't throw them on the floor. That would be terrible. So this is item number five. These are another pretty little dainty pair of Kingman turquoise. These are more pear-shaped or teardrop-shaped. Um, Again, they're, they're that smaller one inch, very everyday wearable pieces. Or if uh, you want to start your granddaughter on a nice collection of turquoise, I think these would be a nice start. Hmm. Yep. Um, they're, they're small enough that they could fit on a, on a little one's head and not feel too cumbersome. But boy, what a pretty picture that would make for uh, Christmas. Oh yes, now I'm thinking about making one for my niece. Oh, yeah. How old is she now? Ooh, I think she was about eight or nine. Okay, okay. Yeah, we've been we've been doing this a while. She's got to be getting big. So <laughs> she's little when we started this game. They grow. They oh, grow yeah, they so grow. quickly. Especially my newest niece, where she's now one, where she's now one and a few months old. Okay. That's awesome. Bad children. Bad ah, children, children, children. <laughs> they do this thing, they grow every day. You uh -huh. feed them and they get taller. Now, where were we again? Number six, I six. think. Six. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> Make sure we're on the same page right now. <laughs> so we got number six here, and I got, and these ones are really awesome ones, especially with the shape. What do you call that shape? Oh, what would we call that shape? It's not quite a rectangle. No, but <laughs> looks like it, but it's not. But it's not. What a great turquoise color. I, I know. Do you know what turquoise that is, like Kingman? I actually think this might be uh, the Chinese turquoise. I mm, think they call it Hubie. Or Hubei, or Hubie. Just depends on tomato, tomato. Hubie, Hubei. <laughs> yeah, tomato, tomatoes. 
So the camera is kind of, we've got some good light today, so there's a little bit of glare there, but there's this kind of cool matrixing in this, this one that stripes it, and there's some uh, color change in there. So this is item six. These are slightly smaller, I think, than that inch. I could be wrong. Let me take a look real quick. Nope, they're, they're just about an inch. Yeah. That uh, offset makes it look like they're slightly smaller, but they're not. Um, item number six, all of these fabulous earrings today are $180. So, hello again, and hello. welcome back. Hello, Susan. Susie. Yeah. Is that, is that, is that, that is, that's a Susie. Okay, Susie. She's a little formal on her Facebook. <laughs> so. I'm just making sure because I got Susan and Susie mi mixed up together. How about I say Susie? Susie. 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 Sue. Susie. I'm wondering who I'm hearing upstairs. I'm a little confused by that. I'll check in a second. Okay. All right. Thank you. I think the boss might have come back. I sent him home to take a nap. Hmm. <laughs> he must he must be back. Oh and another one of these stones again. I'm loving these. You know, now now I'm thinking about now I'm thinking about see if I can keep this one so I can match my truck. Match your truck, it also matches the shape of your bolo. Mm. Hey, well you know, it does. It does. Oh, is that one of the agates? It is. Oh yes. What's Man. really cool about these, um, and it's a little different. It's kind of the um, bringing some of that old style back. So these are actually, it's a lace agate, and it's got this nice quartz top. And as I spin it, you'll see there's a little bit of color play up there. We did a foil back on these, and so they, it helps to bring that color through. See how it's shining on top there? Pretty cool. <laughs> Man. I'm, je I'm jealous. I want, I want this stone now. You like it? There's yeah. a few of these that uh, Shep bought and then uh, didn't give us... Uh, we got to look at them and we pulled stones aside and then they disappeared and all were magically in jewelry. What kind of agate was it? It may <laughs> be a Brazilian agate. There are many, many, many kinds. So I'd actually have to ask him to give me the name. It isn't lace agate. Um, that comes from Mexico. I think this is further south than that. So this is item number seven. It is a size eight, but I'm gonna flip this over in case you haven't seen uh, how this works. You see how it comes together there in the center? Only one side is connected. So it's actually an adjustable ring, which means, and you'll see it says eight plus. This is gonna go from a size eight to a nine. So it's kind of nice because it gives you choices. You can wear it on multiple fingers. Yep. And again, this one is, oh, I didn't tell you, uh, 144. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Good. 144 for ring number seven. It was 180. And it's a good size I ring. So glad that one of my, one of my family member is actually watching right now, so hello, Joe. <laughs> and tell the little ones I said hi. Was that who we were just talking about? Yep. Oh, how funny. All, yep, both of my nieces. Uh -huh. those, are her, those are her daughters. We were just talking about your kids, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking if they were getting big and uh, asking Devin kind of about Christmas presents, I think, but we'll keep that quiet. Don't tell a dink. <laughs> Awesome. All right, let's move on to item number eight. All right. Oh, man, a nice, good wild horse. This one's a stunner. Woo, jeez. So, you know, every stone has a grade. Um, and a lot of people recognize grades in diamonds um, because it's, it's something that makes sense. Well, there's, in all stones, there are grades. Um, this is Wild Horse Magnesite, and this particular set of stones that we came across is some of the highest quality Wild Horse I've ever seen. So what that means basically is you get these really true, true bright whites, and then that deep red behind it. Beautiful stone. The cut on this. I've cut Wild Horse, and I've you know, you get very excited when you get some of that good detailing. Um, this one, it kind of blows all my wild horse out the water. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I think I have beaker. 
you can see, you know, kind of that signature cutout work that Eddie Secatero does. I know, wow, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, so you've seen some of his styling. It's kind of fun to see that work done on a ring. He's got it a triple split shank to support that big face. Let's see what size this is. It is a size nine. A size nine. Which would fit my finger, my biggest finger, but it could fly off, so I can't take this one home. I think it will fit on my middle finger. Will it fit you? Let's try it on. So this is item number yep. eight, and it was priced at two twenty-five. It is priced at one eighty today, which for the size of that stone, amazing. So it's a size nine and at one eighty, and it is item number eight if you'd like to claim it. And it's a pretty nice good ring. It really is. So um, I'm hoping he'll bring in some more. I know we have some earrings for him to set of the same, uh, I don't know if it's the same stone, but it's definitely the same source. Uh, it does need a thicker band, says Jared. He's like, it needs a thicker band. Oh yeah, but if it's good. It works. Yep. And at least the size again, it was size nine. Yep. I don't know why, but I feel like the Green Lantern. Like, is this horse Wild Horse Lantern? <laughs> the Wild Horse Lantern. <laughs> you go like this and horses just come running? Yep. <laughs> so, oh, look at that. I forget. I, I don't know. I'm not that much of a nerd. I know I know, what's, I know the name of it, but I don't know what to... Yeah. So with that big of a stone, can we do resizing in-house on that? Or would that be something Eddie would have to do himself? Well, I think we'd have to pop the stone out. Of course, yeah. Um, what do you think, Devin? Hmm, just resizing it? It depends on the size that you want now. We can be able to go down maybe about no more than half a size down, but okay. any more than that, then we're just afraid of maybe damaging the back of it, and we're just going to have to make a new shank in the back, and I don't, I don't enjoy doing that unless Eddie will feel comfortable with it. Gotcha. So I do know that we purchased a few of these. Um, but to mix it up, and I think actually, let's jump to item number, I think it's uh, 11. 11. What size is this one? Is it also a nine? Size 10. Oh, it's slightly bigger. Yep, it's a okay, slight. Okay, everybody was wanting smaller, so we'll just, we'll come back to that one. All right. Um, so we would prefer to not resize the triple shanks. They're a lot of work. Um, unless we're just stretching it up like half a size or going down a half a size. But um, I know you guys like the smaller sizes and the larger sizes. These mid-ranges sometimes sit a little while. However, with a stone like that, if you really want to resize, um, message me and I'll talk to Eddie about it and see if he can help us. Yeah. So that is item number eight. Yep. We'll put that one back. Alright, so now on to ring number nine. Ooh. And a nice good yellow jasper on it. Was that the bumblebee? It or is. the bumblebee, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yellow jasper. It's yellow. You're not wrong. It's yellow, yeah. <laughs> so I'm this good. one's it's an interesting cut. Um, when I pulled it out I thought, wow. That's, it's almost um, flipped sideways in my brain, but I can see now on the camera, it almost looks like smoke, and yeah, so it, it kind of makes sense. really oh. cloudy for the ones we've had, but I love it. It's so different. Hmm, yeah, it does. Uh, does the stone have a story or give an aurora? An aurora. Are you talking about the wild horse, Elise? It's definitely got, it's got a presence, that much I can tell you. Um, like I said, as a stone cutter, that quality I just don't see as often as I would like to. So it's, it definitely feels powerful to me. But uh, yeah, but the bumblebee jasper comes from, I believe, Indonesia. Um, it was one of our first go-rounds in, in purchasing for the co-op, was buying some of this really bright yellow stone. It's a lot of fun. It's a little different. Uh, this one is also on that adjustable band. 
Wasn't uh, that the band that was made by Mondo? It was. He, uh, before he left us, he um, had made basically our first uh, mold. And this was it. We were learning how to make molds, and we took one of his stamped bands. And we, uh, we made a mold and then it sat for a really long time and then Marco came along and was like, hey, I want to make molds for you. <laughs> and we dug this one out and we started using it. So it's kind of exciting to be able to take something that we started, gosh, I guess it was about three and a half years ago, and uh, see it come to fruition. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. so this one is a adjustable size seven meaning it's going to go from a 7 to an 8 very easily. And you kind of see how it, there we go. I'm trying to hide my, my fingernails I was polishing earlier. <laughs> it's the, the life of a jeweler. Our hands are never quite as pretty as our jewelry would want oh, them no. to be. So uh, size 7 to an 8, it was 180. Ooh, 144 today. 144? Yeah. 144, that's item number nine. It's got a satin finish, um, if you're wondering about that, why it wasn't as shiny as the last one. It's kind of fun, yeah. I like that satin finish. Makes me feel like I can wear it out doing some of those things that my nicer jewelry would not put up with. <laughs> yeah, it matches the stone too, because there's like that slight cloudiness. Yeah, in it. it's, it's kind of that grayish silver, um, yeah. yeah. It does matches matches up real good. And now on to number ten. And the, wow, this is a really good adjustable one too. I like these ones. I gotta start making. I gotta start making one of these. Yeah. Yep. I haven't seen you uh, make any adjustable rings. I don't think. Well, I'm scared. I'm scared of making those. Are you? <laughs> I don't know. I make it, then later maybe I might accidentally solder the the two uh. together, and it'll still be the. Same size, but unadjustable. <laughs> unadjustable. It's the unadjustable adjustable rings <laughs> made by Devin Edison. <laughs> the <That's>... false adjustables. <laughs> uh, hi, Joanne. You're, hi, Joanne. You're joining us again. Um, I saw you uh, earlier, and we're back. So, yeah. So, this is a Nakai ring. This is item number 10. Uh, Nakai is an artist from uh, Santa Fe. They kind of had a, a house up there that they did um, lots of different pieces and recently retired. We've been helping to move some of that stock. So you've been seeing quite a few of these. We purchased the adjustables, as you'll see here, from him because it gives everybody an opportunity to purchase and wear these and not have to worry about uh, the sizing as much. So they're, they're pretty convenient that way. Hmm. It looks in a K A I. A I, yep. <laughs> you were writing it, I was visualizing. <laughs> you visualize it, I write it. <laughs> looks like a tropical vacation spot. You know, it kind of does. Almost like the. The greens turning to that darker water with like the ripple of the wave coming in there. Oh yeah, you're right, it does. I like it, Brenda. You took me to the beach with that simple sentence. <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing, I've never been to the beach yet. Road trip. What? <laughs> Surprisingly, yes, I have not been to a beach yet. That's something we might have to remedy. <laughs> I want it to, I believe, what size? Okay, this is what is coming in at a 7 plus. Um, it was 180. It's 144 today. So, Elise, are you going to take it? 144. I can size it up from a 7 to at least a 9. So, it's, it's, it's a nice adjustable. You just let me know and I can resize it for you. <laughs> Oh. oh, just waiting, just oh. waiting for that con. Just waiting for it. At least, do you want the ring number ten? Just waiting. What kind of turquoise did you say it was, or did? Uh, I didn't about? actually. I didn't tell you what turquoise it was. Um, I do know that he really did source a lot from Nevada and New Mexico. Um, At least wants it. Yay! Yay! <laughs> there we go. that practice swinging. <laughs> Um, I'll look into it. I honestly think that this is New Mexico turquoise by looking at it. Gosh, it's pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but... Uh, oh, yeah, it does look nice. Yeah. 
Awesome. Thank you, Elise. Yep. It Congratulations. is a great Congratulations. Congratulations, Elise. Woo! <laughs> Okay, this was item number 10. Yep, item number 10. Dun, 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 144. I'm going to just keep it on until we finish the show. <laughs> keep her nice and warm. Yep. All Love. right. <laughs> <laughs> so item number 11, I was going to show this earlier. Um, you saw that other wild horse. This one is slightly larger. It's coming in at a size 10 as opposed to the size 9. A little bit different cut and the shape, but look at the clouds. Oh man, what do you say that shape is kind of like an egg shape or kind of like a rectangle? A little of both. How about that? <laughs> it's an egg rectangle. <laughs> it's, it's a larger cut, so I'm going to give you some measurements while I've got it on the close-up. Again, this is a size 10, so this is slightly larger than the last one. How about one and a half? It's, it's a good size ring. I love that um, these cuts I would typically personally, oh, oh, wait, 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 great price. I want, that's the last one. Just yep. making sure. That was okay. the last one. Just... <laughs> um, Catherine, I know, they're so big. <laughs> Sorry, guys, just, we just wanted to show you guys all of these beautiful things that we have here. <laughs> you know, I know you've got those tiny little fingers. What about toe rings? <laughs> okay. Only the big toe. <laughs> Only the big toe. <laughs> I'm kidding. That. <laughs> um, but again, so I'm seeing how much you guys are loving this, so I'm going to do a little bit of digging around for um, either tomorrow's show or the following week for some more of this. <laughs> you know, you probably could. <laughs> yeah, put it sideways. That'd be cool. <laughs> we'll just call it your wild horse knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't that, it's truly, it's the, the stone quality is remarkable. Plus, you've got Eddie's beautiful cutouts, and he did a really nice symmetrical patterning on this one, which I think makes it almost look like a shield. Mm, yeah, it does. So, and uh, again, size 10, coming in at 180, down from 225. So you can claim this. It's item number 11. Um, and again, with the sizing, because it's that triple band, it gets a little tricky, but I'm pretty sure Eddie could resize these, so, um, but I will, I will definitely check into that with you folks. All right, so that's item 11. Steal that. Good thing it doesn't fit us, so we'd have to wear it. Fits me. It fits you? It fits you. Yeah, it fits you. <laughs> yeah it's, a little, it's a little loose it's a little on me. big. I was saying that would look like an egg shape because it does kind of look like cracked eggs. <laughs> <laughs> that always makes me funny that they always remind me of something about food. Again, it's dinner time, so. I'm, hung I'm hungry. My stomach's <laughs> growling over here. Is it? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's that time. Ooh. And now the final piece of jewelry number 12. Another good bumblebee jasper. That, that's the worst. Wow, this one's also... You know what's interesting, and I didn't notice it with the last one, but these are actually what are called matte finish. And oh, so okay. instead of that real high shine on oh. the stone, it's kind of got a duller uh, matte finish, this is technically what it's called, which works really good. And I didn't notice it with the last one with this one because of that stripe down the middle. My eye was kind of, I was like, oh, it, it matches like a the finish. like a, almost iridescent feel to it. It does. Oh, yeah. It gives it, it, it makes it a little uh, dreamy in a way, like, like it's living in a cloud. So this is, like you guys said, it's the bumblebee jasper. Um, it's kind of neat, usually you get more round shapes with it, and this is a definitive, like nice stripe. It is, let me just flip it over so I can see the size. Oh, it's a smaller one. Oh, it is? It's a five plus. It what? says, but I think there that might go. be wrong. I'm going to try it on. I think it's a seven, and I think she just typed it. Oh, eight and a half. Oh. That's, oh, I didn't see the go. eight. <laughs> I'm like, five. Oh, that would have been perfect for everybody who wants to see <laughs> So eight and a half plus, meaning this will go up to a nine and a half very, very comfortably. You could probably pull off a ten, but it's going to open up that gap a little bit. Um, so eight and a half to a nine and a half is going to be your ideal sizing for that. I, it was 180, so today it's 144. 
one pretty border for that for that ring. And it's it's kind of a bigger finish, so I'm gonna slip this on so you can see it on my hand. So it's it's a little bit bigger stone than I typically wear, but it's not so big that I wouldn't be able to wear this on my daily adventures and my hammer swinging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and it, it is that teardrop shape. It's got that nice... Uh, very symmetrical pointed. Yes, teardrop. which is very... It's actually really hard to set those and not fold your silver up on the top. Yeah, or even just making the bezel too. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> We've all challenged ourselves with the uh, the teardrop shapes. Always wanted to get myself a teardrop, but I never had the chance yet. So. No? Maybe nope. I'll cut you one and you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> the fun that would be. And he'll you be like... You one and you'll be making your own tears. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I get the tear, I get the tear stone, I'm going to get a tear. Because <laughs> that, because, like she said, this might be difficult. I want to try it, and then, and then later, if it does be difficult, I'll have the tears. They're polished with the tears of Devin. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it more valuable. <laughs> all, all, yeah, I'll be showing up, it's all made by my tears. <laughs> <laughs> it's not high polished, it's wet. <laughs> okay, um, yes, Jaren's is a little bit larger. He has the teardrop shaped one, and it's got some really, really bright yellows. Um, it's a fun stone. We, we all really enjoyed it. You guys uh, seemed to really enjoy it, so we made a few smaller sizes. And you'll start to see... Um, as we're kind of figuring out the new flow with the new gallery, how it's going to work, as you guys get first dibs here on, uh, on the live show, mm -hmm. um, they may come back for a second show. But usually what happens from there is we're moving them onto our other formats, which would be Instagram and uh, the deals of the day. So you get first dibs. We're going to try not to repeat our items as often. So... If you're in love with a piece and you see it or you're re-watching the show, you should probably claim it because it's going to move on to our other um, networks, basically. Yep. So, all right. So we sold one item so far. So I'm going to do a kind of a quick recap um, in case you were just tuning in. Mm -hmm. All right. So item number one. Beautiful Kingman turquoise button earrings. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Okay, let's let's play that game where I make you get up, not trip over all the cords. <laughs> they give you such a small little clearance back there. Oh yeah. I did this to myself. <laughs> I only got myself to blame. So all of the earrings I'm showing you are coming in at about an inch. They are all. Uh, the post back instead of our typical um, French hooks. So um, very wearable item number one coming in at 180. Um, I'm gonna call these the fang shaped ones. The fang. <laughs> the Halloween fangs. Yep, and you can. Halloween's getting so close. No, yeah, it's just right just around the corner. Blue by white hole months. <laughs> yep, this year is. Awful as it has been, has definitely been moving along at a pretty good tick. So I remember when it was New Year's of 2019, and we were like, 2020 is going to be awesome. It's going to be great. It hasn't been terrible, but... Pads are ups and downs, yes. like any other year. Yeah. So this is item number two. I see what you're thinking about there, Elise. I'll, I'll get to those. They're number three, so I'll talk about them real quick. Um, in a sec. So this is item number two again with the Kingman. And uh, nice one inch little buttons and you can kind of see size wise. Mm. Enough you can see them from across the room but not so big that they're they're heavy and cumbersome. So item number two. Item number three Elise. Oh I see what you're doing. I was like what am I doing? These are the spiny oyster um, at 180, they don't qualify for layaway um, unless you wanted to <laughs> um, combine and maybe get, you know, the pink or the pink, the, the red and the blue. I oh, yeah, definitely that's... combine them and that would put you over the 250. 
and you could you could put those oh on layaway I almost knocked that off the table <laughs> so that's item number three so you just let me know all right item number four is already on one yep this is the wampum uh, those ones are cool want them red all right ding 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 <laughs> Well, I'm going to pull them for you, Elise, and we'll figure out if uh, there's a way I can, I can work on this for you, okay? So that's item number three. Item number three has been sold, so congratulations, Elise! Woohoo! Oh, I don't know if maybe Elise did purchase something earlier today. I'll double check with, uh, with Jan. Jan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're I right. I don't know how it goes with the artist's show. I think they decide if they like won't play Elise. Yeah, so, it yeah, gets... that's something to check with Jan. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, it's a little complicated, but I'll check. Um, you like these, Kim? So these are also a shell. Um, I'm not sure where the wampum comes from. Sounds like something Florida would have. <laughs> That's just a guess. No, I don't know. <laughs> just first time hearing that, and ever since that little joke I said about game. The ring. Okay, I'll, I'll definitely check, Elise. Mm, okay. So item number four, um, wampum shell earrings. And it's with you. Oh, okay, okay, yep, yep, yep. I know which ring you're talking about. That's what I was thinking. So I've got a couple of customs in, in the, I guess you'd call it in the shoot. Ah. So I will, uh, I will work on that. So wampum, one inch uh, posts. Oh, wow. Oh, Vicky! Ah, Vicky! That's Elastic Water Ocean. Hmm. Okay, I'm actually gonna look that up because I that's, think that's pretty. Yeah, that that is wampum. Iroquois Northeast. Okay. So I also looked it up, and it's a really significant stone because um, stone. I doubt it's yeah. The wampum belt is the. The wampum belt is the most significant belt because it represents the first peace treaty made with North America, North America between all native nations and European contact. Wow. Mm. So that's pretty cool. That is cool. Wow, but now you know that. So I'm going to be looking both of these up and getting a little more history. Oh, yep, yeah, Kara was right on top of that story. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So those are really cool. Um, something I hadn't seen before here at the Tea Skies. Um, I'm always excited about new, new shells, new stones, learning. Oh, wow. And it's almost like a hishi style belt. Oh, okay. Do it. It's super cool. That's hmm. awesome. Can't wait to look that up. Yeah, interesting. All right, item number five again: uh, Kingman turquoise, nice little button earrings, 180. Great price on these on these earrings today. Keep in mind, you get that twenty percent discount, um, and every little bit counts when you're doing your holiday shopping. So, all right, let's want to switch those. Let's switch yep. them out. These are the same style button earrings. Um, this is the Hubie turquoise. Hubie. A little bit different uh, shape on those. Again, the price on all these earrings are 180, so it's really just about um, choosing special occasions. It makes sense because it was such a significant thing with the treaty. Um, it becomes part of almost like the kindness or the caring. So I can see how that it could be very important. Um, Do we have any more wampum pieces? Oh, oh, I don't know. So I don't. I've never seen that. That coloring before, so I doubt if we have many of them. We, I know that we only had a few match sets that came in and mm, then disappeared yeah. just as quickly. So it'd be cool to do one of those another shows like with the spiny oyster show. Can we oh. just explain with it if we can find a ah. one shell anywhere. Yes, I like it. Well, and it's got such a good story. Now we're all interested. So yep, I want to learn more. Right, <laughs> <laughs> it's all about learning. Yep. So. So this is item number six, um, 180 for the Hubie. Lots Hubie. of fun. Hubie. Might, might have to go home and Google Translate that because I might be saying it terribly wrong. I mean, there's a <laughs> new Adam Sandler movie called Hubie Halloween. <laughs> okay. Hubie. Oh. Spell it H-U-B-I. <laughs> yeah. 
And I'm so silly, Elise claimed a ring that I was wearing. Oh, right, that I can one. totally combine her purchases. Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally forgot about the ring. <laughs> because I was wearing it, I was trying to steal it. Totally trying to steal it. That's right, that's why we're watching you. We got cameras everywhere. <laughs> we do. Yeah, it sucks that we're all just trying to steal from one another. So, <laughs> it really sucks right now. <laughs> I'm kidding. Too funny. Actually, I think that's my next item, so yes. go ahead and pass it along. <laughs> I was about to say, what, what seven? I, I don't remember seven. It sold. <laughs> it disappeared. This is the uh, size 8 plus meaning eight to a nine agate ring um, on the tea house, tea house, tea skies house design. There it is, the tea house. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, we do have teas around the zoo. We do. <laughs> oh, she wants to see the ring on your finger again. Elise okay, does. okay. Wait, uh, is that it or? I think the Nakai. Oh, okay, yeah. The one she claimed, I'm thinking. It was so comfortable, I totally spaced that I was even wearing it until I looked down and I was like, oh, that would be the ring she's talking about. Totally forgot the ring, wasn't even looking at her fingers. Too funny. So this uh, agate ring, um, size 8 plus, coming in at 144 today. So if you want to claim that, it's item number 7. All right, I will show you the ring again real quick, seeing how it wanted to go home with me so badly. But it's oh, got, yeah. it's got some, oh, uh, Elise is a sucker for the uh, ocean. And I told her there's a wave in there. And she's like, oh, <laughs> beach, sold. That's what did it. <laughs> oh, it's adjustable, but I stuck it on a small finger. <laughs> All right, item number eight. And that is a wild horse again. It's the size nine wild horse. It's a beauty. I know it's a good one when my camera guy says, let me really zoom in. Oh, yeah. Look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. Just look at that design on it. That is so cool. So pretty. Reminds me of the, what was that other turquoise? That was like my favorite one. It had like the red and the blue. Oh. The, red, the red and the blue? It was a weird turquoise, and I was just like so sh like starstruck by it. it For oh, it was. oh. Was it the... the, the Damali? Damali, yeah. Damali. It has okay. a similar uh, matrixing to it, just by like those bubbles. Right? If um, It's almost like the, oh, what would you call it, the opposite end of the spectrum for the colors. Yeah, it's like a negative of it. Negative, like, there it is. Of, like, pictures. <laughs> like, opposite end of the spectrum? That was a lot of words for using the word negative. <laughs> negative. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this one is gorgeous, Elise. It's uh, it's priced at it was two twenty five one eighty for the size of that stone. Killer deal. Yep, I don't know why, but after you said that, I'll start getting a headache. Uh oh, he's had enough of me. He's ready to go just home. Hungry. <laughs> no, it's just, no, it's just that big words just hurt my head. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And now on to ring number nine. Number nine. Oh. Oh, yes. yeah. Okay, there's two wild horses. Whoops. Yep, yeah. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. The number eight was a size... Nine. Nine. Nine, yeah, so that's what that was. Okay. Sorry. I actually posted the wrong one. Like the stone in my cuff in jail. Brand new <laughs> sentence right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is the Bumblebee Jasper on the seven plus, meaning this is a seven. Um, as it's made, but it'll stretch up to an eight very easily. Really cool uh, patterning in there. I like that it's half yellow, half gray. Kind of very much like the uh, weather that we're having down by the, the river. Have you been down there to see the color change? It's beautiful. Um, I drive by it every day and I try to like grab a picture, but then I pass by the time like I'm ready to take a picture. I'm like, <laughs> the same thing. I I missed missed it. It. Same, same thing. <laughs> Sometimes I just like to go for a little drive around that area and just that nice good picture right there, but unfortunately I can't. I'm going the other way and I can't stop. I get lots of pictures of the barrier to the river. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to do a lot of drone flying and I would take like great bosque drone photos. Okay. And, uh, now that I wish I wish I still had one, just like so I could do that. <laughs> All right, so this is item number nine. nine. Uh, it was 180, it is 144 today. 
And that one's a seven plus. Correct. So. A little bit smaller, which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. I got skinny fingers. And I think about it, this actually kind of looks like like the sun is just right right around there, and these ones are actually trees right by. Oh, I see that. I can see that. I like it. Each stone, when they've got some really cool patterns like that, they kind of tell a story to whoever's holding it. So yeah. I, I like telling the story to whoever will listen. <laughs> so. yeah, I just tell random, random stories to see if it's funny. It's kind, of, it's kind of like a comedian here. Let me see if it's funny. Ah, I had, uh, once I had a baby. And I'm your guys' everyday audience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the second wild horse this with is the. 11. Yes, yep. number 11. Number 11. A uh, little bit different shape. I really like this little guy right here. He just looks like a happy little cloud. Is there like a little piece of in like the bottom section of it? Is that, oh, never mind. That was the reflection. It looks there like go. there was like quartz in it. Like, oh, oh, because of good. that. Yeah, because you can see yeah. the light right there. Yeah. So, yeah. We need to get that little spinny thing so you can see it as it. Spins that was like one around. of the first things I wanted here. I wanted like a little spin, like a motorized little mirror spinner. It'd be so cool. Oh yeah, we should have one of those. We should. I'll just buy one now. We'll just, you know, co-op gets to vote on things. You put it on a list and all we have to say is uh, yes. Give me a spinner. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a size 10 Elise and it's coming in at, gosh, I really, I just, I have to keep looking, 180 today. 180 for that? Yes. Catherine, it's her two finger ring. <laughs> <laughs> I would it'd be kind of funny to see somebody just go ahead and try and pull it off. Like I'm wearing it on two fingers. You can't stop me. So size 10, Elise, you let me know. It really is a stunner. It's a little, it's a little bit larger um, than the last one. So we have a 10 and a nine. This is item number 11, size 10 just to confuse you. <laughs> and then item number 12 is our last item. It's that bumblebee jasper with the not polished with the tears of Devon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this one is the, I think it said seven and a half? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight and a half to a nine and a half. So that adjustable, again, very, very nice. 144 today. 144 for that ring as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eight and a half is like a this ten, the other say, one, or like a nine? Um, I would say nine and a half, so one size up is kind of the max for our adjustables because they don't cross over each other. Mm -hmm. They yep. sit next to each other. Oh, for those Mondo ones. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so kind of like the gaps on your bracelet, you're going to open up that gap, and if you go too far, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause a little bit of issue in wearing, so. All right, I think that is our evening show. Yep, and that'll be it for our evening show. Want to do another outro? Sure. Sure, why not? I will not sing to accompany <laughs> him. No throat singing. No throat singing. Not even humming. <laughs> not today. <laughs> maybe <laughs> next time. <laughs> maybe. You two guys got to catch her. All right, guys, we appreciate you tuning in. Um, I'm going to leave it with you, Devin. All right, but first off, we just want to say that thank you guys for tuning in with us, and thank you for Facebook to tuning in with us, and if you guys like this show, just share it around with your friends on Facebook so that they can know that all the beautiful jewelry that we have here. And also for YouTube, thank you for sticking around, and if you guys are enjoying the video, like again, hit that like button down below, and if you guys want to tune in for any future shows, just hit that subscribe button, and that, hit that bell notification for any notification of our shows. Woo! That was, that was a lot to say. You did it all. That was impressive. <laughs> Make a little show to YouTube never. <laughs> I gotta say, can I get a round of applause for that? I appreciated you it. Get your own bell. <laughs> <laughs> there we yeah. go. And now it's time to go off into a nice music. So thank you guys for tuning in and enjoy this little piece.
you guys for tuning in and have a nice evening.